Um, and the people that, and I understand it, they're very, very angry because the GOP did not listen the first time around. They didn't listen to the Ron Paul people who are way ahead of the curve, then the Tea Party people, and they rubbed our nose in it. And they, oh, and they are tired. And they have created Donald Trump. The, the people are speaking clearly, and there's two ways to go. Anger and nationalism, which has been done before in history. Uh, and you can go for nationalism, you can go for anger. Trump is Adolf Hitler? Uh, if you look at what's happening in um, with Donald Trump and his playing to the lowest common denominator and to the anger in us, you know, Adolf Hitler, we all look at Adolf Hitler in 1940. We should look at Adolf Hitler in 1929. He was a kind of a funny kind of character that said the things that people were thinking. Where Donald Trump takes it, I have absolutely no idea. But Donald Trump is a dangerous man with the things that he has been saying. Now, the GOP is playing unbelievable games right now, trying to make sure they get their way. And they're trying to go for a brokered convention. I'm against Donald Trump, but I'll tell you one thing. If he gets, if he gets close enough and the GOP tries to play games, I won't vote for Donald Trump ever, but I will right because the people have spoken and what the GOP is doing is they are stirring things up because they are more afraid of Ted Cruz than they are so, of yeah, Donald and Trump. You're supporting Ted Cruz. How does Ted Cruz though bring the party together as well? Isn't he as divisive in some ways as if Donald you, Trump? If, if, if we had reasonable people, I mean look, Marco Rubio is a really nice guy, but he is being stirred up by the GOP establishment and being told, hey, you got to stay in. Same with Kasich. We want a brokered convention. We don't want a brokered convention. And if those guys would get out, those votes would go right to Ted Cruz. Maybe some of them would go to, but very few would go to Donald Trump. And Ted Cruz would be mopping the floor. And everyone counts him out. But this is the guy that George Washington said in his farewell address. You don't go. You, you you don't go to the parties. This loyalty oath that the party is expecting everyone to take, and then Donald Trump asked everybody to raise their hand yesterday for their loyalty oath was a little disturbing. I don't have a loyalty to parties. I don't have a loyalty to personalities. I have a loyalty to the Constitution of the United States. George Washington and all of our founders said. George Washington at the end of the Constitutional Convention, let us raise a standard to which the wise and the honest can repair. Meaning, there's going to come a time when people don't know what to do. You'll run to the Constitution. The wise and the honest will so run does, to the Constitution. Does that, does that mean then, you, you just said, you don't, you don't believe it's fair to deny Donald Trump the nomination if he has the lead going of in? Of course not. So you got a lot do of you? people talking, you got a lot of people talking about a third party, including Senator Ben Sass, if Trump does get the nomination. What does that mean? That's not necessarily, wait a minute, that's not the games on the convention floor. A third party, I won't vote for Donald Trump. I won't vote for Hillary Clinton. And anybody who says a vote against Donald Trump is a vote for Hillary Clinton, stop playing those games. You know, I just saw on your deal, one of the callers said, uh, you know, they're the lesser of... Well, I'm not going to vote for evil. I don't care if it's lesser than the other evil. I'm not going to vote for so it. So you're looking for a third option if Trump gets the nomination? Yes, but not the options of the party pay, playing politics to break us apart at the convention. That leads to civil war on the floor, and quite honestly, it could lead to civil war um, in the country. You cannot lie to people, play with their feelings. People actually believe in something, and that's what the GOP has forgotten. They believe in themselves, they believe in their own power, and they are using man to be able to entrench themselves in that power and in that profit. You cannot continue to disenfranchise people and play with their emotions. Glenn Beck, thanks for joining us this morning.